Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and thank you for being here today. I hope everyone is having a wonderful weekend so far. Um, thank you for coming back. Those of you who are regulars and come back every week, thank you for coming and, and joining us if you are new to this channel. Uh, as always, if you are interested in tarot cards, tarot readings, true crime, unsolved cases, and the occasional candle making video, please consider subscribing. I really do appreciate it. Um, for those of you, again, who come back regularly and, and comment, I really had fun with the free giveaway, and that is something that I will definitely be doing again in the future. I don't know how often uh, I'll be able to do it, but I'm kind of considering maybe an every other month type of uh, situation or schedule, but I will definitely let you guys know. So for today's case, uh, it's a doozy, I guess. They all are. Um, this is a requested video, and it's uh, the case of Maitrese Richardson. A very sad situation. Lots of bizarre things going on. Um, and I remembered it the minute I read that request. I remembered hearing about this case. I have watched YouTube videos on it in the past, but it's been a couple of years. So I, I did go back and, you know, kind of fresh my memory. I know there's a lot of tarot readers out there and everybody does everything their own way. That's the beauty of tarot. There's no right or wrong way. But um, I, I do notice that sometimes readers like to go in not knowing a whole lot of information. Um, I am the opposite. I do want to go in knowing the information and at least having some basic information, uh, having the key players in the situation, learning a little bit about the victim and their personality, and I think that that actually helps add some depth to the reading. It also allows me to come up with more specific questions that I want to ask the cards. So I don't think there's anything wrong with going into these cases and learning about them. In fact, I think it adds an extra element to the reading. So I did go back and I, you know, refreshed my memory and, oh my God, I don't even know where to begin on this. It's just so incredibly sad. It is a closed case. It should be reopened, if nothing else, because the police, the department, the police department botched the case from literally beginning to end. Uh, but I do want to go into a very quick summarized outline of what's going on. And if you want to know more information about this case, everything that I reference in this video, I always put in the description box. There is one particular article that I came across that was really, really interesting. It was very in-depth. It was kind of long, but it was really worth it because I did learn a couple of things in that article that I hadn't known before, and I am going to be able to incorporate that into the reading tonight. So uh, I definitely recommend if you're interested to check that article out. I think it'll be the first. I'm going to try to remember to put that in the first. That'll be the first one that I put in the description box. So... I do want to read just a little bit and then we will get right into the tarot reading. All right, so Maitrese's, Maitrese Richardson. Okay, let me make sure my glasses are on so I can see where the hell I'm at. All right, so the extreme incompetence makes it hard to even come up with a plausible explanation of what could have happened. Uh, because there is so much going on here, so much. But if you're not familiar with what happened, I would definitely encourage you to watch the documentary. Sorry, I typed that in there and I already said it, so bear with me. So Maitrese was a 24-year-old African-American woman who went missing on September 17th, 2009. After she was released from the Lost Hills Police Station in Calabasas, California. Her remains would be found 11 months later in August of 2010 in Dark Canyon on the 818 side of the Santa Monica Mountains by rangers who were inspecting a recently shut down marijuana farm. This location was not too far away from the last sighting of Maitrese, which we will discuss in a bit. Now, when Maitrese first went missing almost a year prior, they waited a whole two days before they began their official search. Again. I won't go too much into detail on their incompetence because it's a lot and it starts from day one. I want to actually go back to the day or days prior to Maitrese's arrest. So Maitrese was a very well-educated young woman 
and was considering getting her doctorate degree in psychology. I believe she had already received her bachelor's degree and was currently working on her master's at the time. I'm not 100% sure on that, so um, I, I think I read that somewhere. So we're talking about someone who is highly educated, right? However, Maitrese had been acting very strange and uncharacteristically in the days leading up to her arrest. She had been sending strange text messages to her mother and had become somewhat elusive. At this time, Maitrese was also working as a go-go dancer at Deborah's Club in Long, Long Beach, California. She had also recently broken up with her girlfriend, Tessa. There was another female named Vanessa in her life that she was very interested in, but Vanessa allegedly had a girlfriend, uh, and that is actually, I, I did retrieve that little bit of information in the article, so that article will be in there if you want to verify that. So apparently this Van Vanessa allegedly had a girlfriend. Um, Vanessa was also a regular at Deborah's Club and actually went on the record stating that Maitrese was obsessed with her and determined to win her over. One night apparently after work, Maitrese apparently drove to Las Vegas alone to join in Vanessa's birthday party celebration. Vanessa reported that she had to eventually tell Maitrese to stay away. So the reason why I'm focused so much on Vanessa is that the day Maitrese was arrested, she had driven two hours from her home in LA to Joffrey's, which is an upscale restaurant in Malibu. And when she spoke with the valet, she asked him if Vanessa was there, in which he responded that he did not know Vanessa. She then told him to keep an eye out for a woman with arm tattoos. So let's keep Vanessa in mind when we're looking at the cards tonight. Uh, because I, I find it very alarming that you know, there, there, I feel like there's something with Vanessa possibly that is not being looked into. All right. I do believe there is uh, a reason she expected Vanessa to possibly be at the restaurant as we are unsure why she chose this particular place so far from home to begin with. Was she supposed to meet Vanessa there? Did Maitrese believe that Vanessa worked there by chance? Once Maitrese arrived at Joffrey's, it just seemed to go downhill from there, between suspicious behavior with the valet to inviting herself to another table and chatting with the guests, strange comments about being from Mars, avenging the death of Michael Jackson, and finally to when she tried to leave without paying for her bill. Now, one thing that bothers me is that she caught the attention of staff immediately, and even the valet and the police call from the restaurant, they describe her as either being drunk or possibly on drugs, yet they still served Maitrese a cocktail. I'm not sure why they would serve an individual an alcoholic drink if they suspect this person could be drunk, but that's just a thought, a side thought. You know, we can keep that in mind. So anyway, Maitrese tells staff that she doesn't have any money and cannot pay her bill. Long story short, there was a call to her great-grandmother who was willing to pay the bill over the phone. However, they would not approve that because she apparently had to be there in person to sign. Staff apparently had even offered to chip in and pay the bill, but the owner of the restaurant decided he would press charges because he believed she could be a danger to herself or others if allowed to drive away. Eventually, her car was searched, and there was a small amount of marijuana found. And between that and not being able to pay her bill and the owner of the restaurant filing those charges, Maitrese was arrested. Uh, I also want to add that they did do a field sobriety test, and she did pass it, so she was actually not drunk. And I will also add here quickly that it was confirmed that she had over $2,000 in her bank account at that point and could have paid that bill. Now her car was searched and she was instructed to put her personal belongings in the trunk. Once arrested, Maitrese's mother called the police station asking what time she should be there to pick up Maitrese as Maitrese's great grandmother had already notified Maitrese's mom and told her what was happening. So the phone call can be viewed online. Um, I would definitely recommend listening to that phone call because it's very, uh, very, uh, you really feel sorry for Maitrese's mother because she really was made to believe that her daughter would not be released that night. Uh, and that is not what happened. 
So the officer clearly states that my trees will not be released until morning. Um, my Teresa's mother is somewhat relieved to hear that as she knows her daughter has no idea where she's at. She has no car, wallet, purse, phone, or anything. So to kind of sum this up, my Teresa was mysterious released at 12.30 a.m. unbeknownst to her mother when mom calls back in the morning to get the information. The officer tells her that her daughter has been released. Now, uh, if you do listen to this message, because this is a second phone call and that is also available online, you know, mom is really shocked. You know, she was under the impression that her daughter was going to be held overnight and then she would drive to this police station and get her daughter and try to sort all of this mess out, but that is not what happened. So, um, the police department then continued to make one incompetent mistake after another. They never included Mitrice's odd behavior in any of their reports, even after one officer was quoted saying that she was acting quote-unquote ditzy. Even after passing a field sobriety test, they never tried to dig deeper into, into her behavior that night and decided to just send her on her merry way without any personal belongings. So remember, this is at 12.30 in the morning. Mitrice does not know where she's at. The police station is a good six miles away from anything. Um, now, the police are stating that she was offered to stay in an open or unlocked cell or the lobby until morning, but that she had refused. Unfortunately, this police station has been so dis dishonest in so many ways that it's hard to even know if that's an accurate story or not. So later that day, uh, a local farmer about six or seven miles, I believe it was, away from the station, called the station to report an African-American woman sitting on his back steps. It is believed that this was in fact Mitrice. Police did go out to this farm or a ranch or whatever it was, and they did look around and they did find footprints. They also believed that those footprints were Mitrice's. And when they followed them, they went from walking to running and then finally just disappeared. Okay, so they, they weren't able to track her for very long. So, however, like I said, their official search did not begin until a couple of days later. So even after this whole situation where they know that this woman has not contacted her family, she's possibly, you know, out here suffering from something, maybe lost. Uh, they get a phone call from this local farmer saying that he may have seen this person. Um, they still don't consider it important enough to really open a formal search. So they, they kind of dropped the ball really early on, and it just, literally, it just gets worse from, from here. So, um, however, like I said, their official search still did not begin until a couple of days later. This farmer ranch happened to be on the border of Dark Canyon, but even when they did start searching, they never actually searched there. I also want to add that there's a porn ranch nearby. Yes, you heard me correctly. There's a porn ranch. And we also have an abandoned marijuana field uh, that is in this vicinity as well. So when my Teresa's remains were found a year later by ranchers that were out checking on this marijuana farm and making sure that it was still not operating, uh, Hold on, I lost my place. Sorry. Um, okay, so we have an abandoned marijuana field and a porn ranch in the very same area that Mitrice was last seen in. When Mitrice's remains were found a year later by ranchers, LE continued their consistency in their incompetence and completely botched the entire thing. They took no pictures, there was no crime scene whatsoever, they didn't even wait for the coroner to arrive on scene before deciding to have a helicopter come in and remove Mitrice's remains. They found Mitrice half naked with some parts of her body being mummified and separated from one another. Regardless, LE claims it was an accident. I think we can all agree that this case is far from being over. We have a few points of concern here, possible mental breakdown, possibly meeting someone, incompetent police with no regard to Mitrice's mental state. We have a lone female walking alone at night in a dangerous area, in a dangerous location. And by dangerous, I mean just the geographical area itself with the mountains and this canyon. 
we have a porn farm, uh, we possibly have some drug relations here. It's hard to determine which, if not more, played a role in Mitrice's death. So that's what we're going to focus on with tonight's reading and see if we can get any of these unanswered questions figured out. So I felt like I kind of got a little bit confusing in there. Um, so just to back up, a year later after my trees goes missing, there were these ranchers uh, that were apparently out in Dark Canyon and they were kind of just checking to make sure apparently this marijuana field had been disassembled and they were out there trying to, you know, make sure that there was no more activity and that's when they came across her remains so they apparently called the police the police come out and it was at that point that they literally did not even turn this into a crime scene uh, they didn't take any photos of the area they didn't do a very good search um, you know and the biggest one of all is that whenever there's a body found like that they have to by law call a coroner and that body cannot re be removed until the coroner comes out and does that and so they actually did not follow that they actually decided to move my Teresa's remains before the coroner was able to go out there and so all evidence that could have been used in solving this case was literally destroyed um so really sad situation um but we've got a couple of points of concern you know we've got her mental status you know why did she choose to drive two hours from her home in LA to this Joffrey's upscale restaurant in Calabasas or Malibu or wherever it was and why was she so concerned if Vanessa was there so was this something that you know was it supposed to be a dinner date um, one of the reasons that I really love the article that I found that I'll be including in this again is where they say that Vanessa herself says that she had to tell Mitrice to leave her alone, that she was becoming obsessive. So is there something going on with Vanessa? So that's kind of where we're going to go. Um, I don't know if I believe that the police department had anything to do with the cause of her death directly. I think that they did have you know they played an indirect role as far as how they handled it and they put her at risk for something else to happen to her but we're also going to ask that question as well so for tonight's reading i have two decks brought out i have the haunted house tarot and i have the los carabio tarot um, i do like using the haunted house tarot when i'm working uh, or reading on a female because it is the, the the main story of this deck is based off of a female um, so I will put that aside, but I think I want to start out with the low Scarabio. So first things first, I want to see if we can figure out what was going on with Mitrice's odd behavior. What was causing her odd behavior in the days leading up to this fateful day that she decided to take this two hour drive to this restaurant? So she is, you know, she's sending strange text messages to her mother, alarming text messages, behaving differently. Um, I believe that she put up some strange comments on social media. So what was going on with Mitrice's mental state at this time? What was going on with Mitrice's mental state at this time? Can we get an idea of what was going on with Mitrice's oh, mental state at this time? All right, so let's start out with this one. So we have um, we have the Two of Swords. So this is always my shitty decision kind of card. Um, there possibly could have been something that was weighing on her. Uh, you know, was she deciding, you know, between two things? Uh, you know, we've got two, of course, is double. Um, was she having, you know, some personality issues? Uh, did she feel like she was leading a double life? Um, so let's, let's continue to draw more. So what was, what was causing this odd behavior in my trees the days leading up to what happened? 
Okay, so I believe that it's possible she was having some issues with another individual. Definitely this is um, arguing. Look at how they are looking at each other. They're pointing fingers. You know, you've got the fire, indi you know, representing the passion between these two people. Uh, so right away, my mind is Vanessa. You know, is this a person that she was having an issue with? And that was somehow playing a role or, or somehow affecting her mental state at that time. So let's draw a couple more. So what was the cause of the odd behavior leading up to, oh, okay. So these here, you know, she definitely was dealing with something. I don't think she knew how to handle it. She, she definitely did not, this is not being able to see a way out, not, not being able to decide what to do. So whatever situation that she was in, that she was dealing with, with this other person, and I do believe it's between her and, uh, you know, it's interesting in that this particular deck, the five of uh, wands, usually there's five people. But in this particular deck, there's only two. And I find that really interesting because I do believe that this is an issue that she was dealing with with one other person. Um, so interesting that we, with this deck, we've got two people. Uh, I do think that she was struggling with something. Uh, and then we've got the death card. So, you know, it, does this mean that whatever happened here with this other person was ultimately what led to her death? Are we taking death literal in this sense? Or was this causing her to go through a huge transformation, mental transformation? Was it affecting her to a level of, you know, just resulting in her, her behavior that she was exhibiting at that time? So I want to draw a couple more on this one and see what we can find. And then we'll move on to the next question. So what was... What was causing Mitrice's odd behavior prior to her going missing or prior to her being arrested. What was causing Mitrice's odd behavior? Okay, so now we've got three. So, you know, this could be taken as three people. Is there someone else involved in this? You know, because I'm thinking there's two people at least, but now it's a possibility that we've got three. And then we've also got just the fact that, you know, she was trying to work on something. She was trying to work on the relationship with this person. I honestly believe that we are, I definitely feel like Vanessa is coming up with this reading. Let's just go ahead and ask a yes or no question. Are we referring to Vanessa? Are we referring to Vanessa? Let's go ahead and grab from the middle. So a Ten of Pentacles is definitely a good card. It's a positive card, and it's a hard yes card for me. So Ten of Pentacles tells me that it is, yes, possibly that we are dealing with this person, Vanessa. So I kind of have a feeling that part of her mental state at that time leading up to this whole situation there was definitely something going on with this other woman that she was involved with. Now, you know, I know what the article says, and you can read the article yourself. It does say that Vanessa said that Mitrice was obsessed with her. She was determined to win her over, that she had to tell Mitrice to stay away. But we all know that there's this side, that side, and then the truth, right? And so I don't know Vanessa. I don't even know who this person is, what she looks like or anything, but we don't know just because she said that in the article that that's the fact, okay? So there was definitely more to the situation between Vanessa and Mitrice, and I do believe that we are referring to issues with Vanessa at this point in time, and, and that was what was causing her, her odd behavior this was affecting her on a level that we can't comprehend, I don't think. So let's go ahead and ask, um, was Mitrice going to meet someone at Joffrey's restaurant? Was she going there to meet someone at this restaurant? So we have the Page of Wands. Um, I definitely do think that there is a a possibility that we are 
you know, possibly going there to meet someone, possibly a, a date of some sort, you know, something that was pre-planned ahead of time. Let me ask again to clarify. Uh, was my Therese going to meet someone at Joffrey's? Was my Therese going to meet someone at Joffrey's? You know, pages are young, okay? So these are young people, young ideas. Uh, was this a new idea that, it, let, let's just say hypothetically, we go by what Vanessa's saying that, you know, maybe my trees was obsessed with her and, you know, whatever the case may be. Did she hear a rumor that maybe Vanessa worked at Joffrey's? Did she expect to just accidentally bump into her and that was an opportunity to see her? So it, I do kind of feel like with this page of wands, it, there was some sort of something she had th there was a plan there was something there was a motive for her going there if anything else or if nothing else she did not land at this restaurant just by chance that's what everybody you know kind of the consensus is is that she had no reason or explanation to be going here apparently you know she said that she was just being guided by the lights and she just ended up there i don't think so this card to me says differently this card to me says that she was actually going there that was her destination she was intending to go there and there was a reason behind it so was she meeting someone there or expecting to see someone there i can't shuffle tonight guys Okay, was she going to meet someone there? Okay, yeah, I, I do believe with the magician, she had some intentions, okay? <laughs> she had some, in between the page of wands and the magician, she knew what she was doing that day going to that restaurant, okay? Maybe not knew what she was doing, but she had something in her mind planned. She definitely went to that restaurant intentionally. She had a whole plan in mind, whatever it is, we don't know, but definitely there was a reason that she went to this particular restaurant. Let's just go ahead and ask, was this Vanessa? She had something she had something worked out. I, I don't know what it is exactly, but she had something worked out in her mind. Who are we referring to? Are we referring to Vanessa in this situation? Wow. Yeah, I, I do believe it's definitely a woman. Definitely a woman. And uh, the, the question was a yes or no. The Knave of Chalices or the Page of Cups. Wow. This is a love interest. Okay, that, there's nothing else to it. This was a love interest. She was actually meeting someone there. And I do believe that that someone is, in fact, Vanessa. So it, we've got the cops' incompetence in this case. And I do believe that that did, like I said, play an indirect role in, you know, what unfortunately happened to my trees. But I also believe that she had something in her mind that she intended on fulfilling when going to this particular restaurant. I do think that she was planning on meeting possibly uh, another woman there or most likely I feel like this card is representing Vanessa because I did ask yes or no. And a page of cups. Guys, we know page of cups, knight of cups, that's all love, right? That's the, the relationship cards. Uh, this is definitely something that she had in mind. I believe that she was going to meet someone there. So uh, what happened? What happened? Um, what, what, went, what went wrong? Uh, you know, what, was this a setup? What went wrong? Why wasn't this person there? Uh, you know, just we don't we don't know. It just it didn't work out the way she had had planned. So what happened? What happened? So we've got, let me pull two, we've got the Ten of Wands and we've got the Three of Cups. So let me move some of these out of the way so you guys can see. Okay, so I want to know what happened when she got to the restaurant. What happened to the to the plan, you know? Was is this supposed to be a lunch date? Because according to this, this, this is a 
a, a celebration between three women, right? So who's the third wheel in this situation? Now we know Vanessa has a girlfriend, so I'm not quite sure, but definitely <laughs> something definitely, I, I do think that this is representing my Teresa's mental status at that time. And she was really overwhelmed. She had a lot of things going on in her mind. I don't think it was just this alone that was contributing to her mental state, but there was definitely several, several things. Tens, that's a lot. That's repetition. Okay. So she had not just this thing on her mind, but she had quite a few things. Um, and so, you know, I do feel like this is definitely her and you know really the path that she was on just wasn't the right path for her obviously but we've got this one here i'm more interested in this one here so the three of cups so we've got again and hold on a second did we not pull we've got the three of cups and we've got the three of pentacles that i pulled earlier so we've got a third party here there is someone else involved not just vanessa I'm getting these little hints and, and things that are saying that we're not talking about my trees and Vanessa. We're talking about my trees, Vanessa, and someone else. So was this a setup? Did someone ask to meet my trees at Joffrey's? Was this a setup? Was this a setup? Um, you couldn't get a, a more strong yes answer if you tried on this one. The Ace of Swords. I do believe, <laughs> honestly, that that's actually shocking. Um, I do believe that this was a setup. I really do. I think it has honestly lost uh, importance in the case because I think so much focus is on the law enforcement and it's actually taking away from what actually led her to that area. Uh, this was a setup. This was a setup. And I believe the setup is by two other women. I really do. I think that she was either asked to meet someone there or she had intentions. You know, did this person lead her on and, and kind of make her feel like if they met for dinner, they could have a nice dinner, maybe talk about their future. Uh, and then, you know, she goes with all these intentions of the magician, hoping that this is going to come out the way she was hoping. And then boom, you know, what happens? What happens? I, I don't know. I would be really interested. I don't know if, how was Joffrey's picked? What's the significance of Joffrey's? Was this just a random a random restaurant or is there something about Joffrey's that we don't know about? What's going on with Joffrey's? Okay, so Joffrey's to me this is uh, definitely a popular restaurant. Uh, look at that, we've got stars and you know we're talking about Malibu. Uh, or Calabasas. I don't know the difference. I don't I don't know anything. I've never been out there, but we're talking about stars, right? The home of the stars, Hollywood. So interesting that I ask about Joffrey's and we have the star card come out. And so is there a significance to that with this case? You know, was this I, I don't know. I kind of feel like there's definitely and then we've got temp we've got the woman and in this case, um we've got I feel like in this particular case, I'm looking at that woman and normally the, the nakedness is purity, right? Purity, being comfortable with oneself, uh, you know, just having that balance in, in your mind, physical state, spiritual state, everything. But in this case, I feel like it has a different sexual connotation to it. And I do believe in this case, it's representing temptation. And I do believe that there was a reason there is a reason that this particular restaurant was chosen and it was just too much. Oops, I guess you guys can't even see what's going on here. Let me pay attention to what I'm doing. I think that there was too much temptation for my trees to simply refuse. I think that there was definitely some hopes on my trees' end that this evening could possibly, I don't know, begin a relationship maybe something I, I do I do think that that was in her mind all right so now let's go to 
the incident that happens with not being able to pay her bill. Now, the interesting thing about this, and I haven't been able to really clarify what's going on because it's a little bit confusing at this point. So when Maitrice was getting ready to get up and leave, she had ordered a steak and she had ordered a cocktail. I believe the total came to about 80 bucks or somewhere around that amount. Um, when she got up to leave, that's when the manager stopped her and said, you know, ma'am, you haven't paid your bill. I think she said something along the lines of she thought that the other party that she had been sitting with had paid her bill. And the manager then says, no, that's not what happened. You still owe, you know, X amount of dollars. And, you know, how are you going to pay for this bill? She says, I think, quote, uh, you got me or something to that effect. And uh, I, I don't really know at that point if she was allowed to go out to her car to get her wallet. I don't know if she requested to get her wallet. I don't know. You know, I, I don't know what led them to call her great grandmother. I think her great grandmother's name is Mildred. You know, but we do know, we do know that she had almost two thousand or over two thousand dollars in her bank account at that time. So she did have the money to pay for that bill. So I want to ask about the bill because it's very, uh, it's very strange that she was willing to call her great grandmother Mildred to ask for her to cover this bill and to even ultimately be arrested when she knew she had money in her bank account. So what's going on with the bill? What was going on with that? Very confusing. What was going on with the bill? Why couldn't she pay or why wouldn't she pay? I think the question is, is why wouldn't she pay? Why wouldn't she pay? Because we know she had the money, right? So why wouldn't she pay her bill? Queen of Cups. Hmm. I don't think that that's my trees. I don't think that that's my trees. Let me clarify. Why couldn't she pay the bill? Oh, okay, so we've got the Hierophant coming in. Hmm, the Hierophant. I don't think that this is my Therese. I do think that this is uh, the other person, but, uh, you know, who who is the Hierophant in this case? Very interesting that that came out. We've got keys. For some reason in this particular case, I'm drawn to the keys, not the Hierophant in, in itself. Um, this is the system. This is the system. It doesn't always have to be religion related. It is typically associated with religion, but this can also just stand for the whole system. And in this case, I do believe it is also representing law enforcement. Uh, I kind of feel like the answer to the question is there was an opportunity for her to pay. We don't exactly know what happened. I don't know if she tried to tell them that her wallet was in the car. Um, I'm a little bit confused about all of that, but I do kind of feel like this here is the reason why she was not able to pay. I don't know if the system stopped her. Um, you know, did, and, and by that I mean, was she asking to go to her car to get a wallet? Was she saying, yes, I've got information or I've got, I've got money to pay. Just let me go to my car and I'll pay. And they, the system stopped her and they said, no, we, we can't. Um, now, as a matter of fact, I do think that they did take her out to the car. So it is possible. I think they did take her out to the car because I believe I read that they searched the car and they said that it was cluttered. Um, and I think that they uh, asked her to put her personal belongings in her trunk because eventually when they did arrest her, they need to impound her car. And that's when they told her to put everything that she needed in her trunk. So I'm kind of, uh, I kind of feel like the reason why the bill did not get paid is there's something going on with law enforcement at this time and there there's something not right. I, I, I think that this is, this hierophant is not religion at all in this case. I think it is law enforcement. 
Um, one would think that that could also come out as the justice, and it may still come out as justice, but I think this is, I'm using this as the system tonight. Um, and so I do think that she was willing to pay. She could pay. We know she was able to pay. Um, and, and I don't think that she was allowed to for some reason. I, I, I don't know why. So what's going on with the police department? So let's go ahead and start, you know, going to the police station. Uh, what happened when she was arrested? Uh, anything. Let's see if we can get the story. And I might draw a few more cards instead of just one or two. All right. So. Hmm. Well, hold on. Let me just stop here for a second. So, can you see that? Okay. So whenever I see this particular Knight of Wands in this deck, I get protection. That's what I see. That's, that's how I interpret this particular card with this deck is protection. So who's protecting what is what we need to know. Because we've got a guy here that is literally covered from head to toe in armor right and he's on top of a lion so who's gonna mess with this guy he's protected from head to toe literally from head to toe so this is a fierce protection card okay so someone is protecting someone at this point in time once law enforcement is involved and i do believe that in this situation law enforcement is protecting themselves i think that they did make mistakes they're aware that they made mistakes and they tried to cover it up all right and no protection was given to my trees so i do believe that none of the reports that were you know given to the public later on none of them indicated that they felt my trees was behaving oddly even though we have the quote from one officer at the scene at the restaurant at joffrey's that she was acting quote unquote ditzy but he did not do that he did not report that in his in his final report and so the theory is is that you know they knew she wasn't drunk right um, I don't know about drugs because we haven't gotten into the Seven of Cups yet, so there's something going on there. But we knew she wasn't drunk, and so what else was, what else was causing her odd behavior? Okay, what was the reasoning? And so that could have, should have been a red flag for the police department, and possibly, you know, it could have been a 72-hour hold if nothing else possibly let's not let her go until mom comes in the morning type of thing i don't i don't know but this is a protection card so somebody's protecting someone and then we've got the knave or the page of swords i do believe that this is my trees um and, and you know this is this just to me represents the odd behavior in itself the whole the whole thing was just out of characteristic she wasn't acting herself there was in fact something wrong with her at that time and what's concerning me is the seven of cups because the seven of cups to me when i am reading crime that is drugs okay that is that is um some some form of drug in the system because the seven of cups is fogginess okay that is your head is in the clouds you're not thinking straight now the basic definition could obviously just be you have lots of choices in life right you just have a lot of a lot of options okay but in this particular case i always look at the seven of cups in crime reading as this person's mind was not working properly and that is because they were under the influence of something and nine times out of ten i take that as something they were not aware of so i do believe that it's possible that this behavior yes there were some mental influences some things that she was dealing with but there was also something else contributing to it and i'm wondering if uh you know was was she either taking something on her own or was something being given to her so let's ask that was my trees taking something on her own or was she being given something was she taking something on her own or was she being given something because i kind of feel like she was being given something 
so we have another big number. We have a seven and we have a nine. And this is a cups card. Okay, so um, I, 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 we've got, yeah, I, I kind of think that, I, I really do kind of feel like she was being given something. Um, hmm. A nine of cups. We've got the honeybees. Honeybees. We've got a we've got a beehive on the ground. Um, I really like this deck because the images are different from what I'm normally used to, and so it allows to kind of add different layers to the uh, original definition. So we've got a we've got a beehive. We've got something sweet. What 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 are bees? What's a beehive? It's something that produces something sweet, right? But it can also be deadly. You know, if you're attacked by a swarm of swarm of bees, I mean, you know, you you could potentially die, right? So it's something something um, positive. It produces honey, obviously, and so many other things. But it can also kill someone. So um, that's actually kind of what I'm thinking of with this particular card and. Hold on, let me ask a specific yes or no. Was my trees being given something unbeknownst to her? Did, was she being given something? Yes or no? The Eight of Pentacles. That would be a yes to me. And I, I feel like this really kind of indicates that somebody was working really, really hard on uh, doing something to her. Look at all these high numbers. We've got the seven, the eight, the nine. Um, this was definitely, this was, there was something going on with her for quite a while leading up to this day. I don't think it was going on just briefly in the days leading up to it. I think that there was something that was actually going on in her life for possibly several weeks prior to this day. Whoever was doing this to her was really working a number on her. They were really working. They had a goal in mind. Um, you know, they, they, and we've got flowers, we've got honeys, honey or honeybees, and we've got flowers over here. So definitely I feel like they were, they were, there was somebody I think that was wooing her but with sinister intentions. That's kind of what I'm feeling from these particular cards, from these two cards. I feel like she was being led on by someone and they were basically messing with her. They were messing with her. She was being led on by someone. I, I think, I, I swear to God, I think she was being led on by someone in her life. Now, I'm not saying that's Vanessa. I'm not accusing anybody of anything. I don't know who this person is, nor do I want to know. But I do feel like there was someone in her life that was leading her on, and they were just mind-messing her. They were literally, you know, just playing a game with her, and it was affecting her. It was beginning to wear her down mentally. And I think that that played a huge role in what was going on in her life. And this wasn't happening just recently. This has been going on for a while. And it's possible that she was under the influence of some form of a drug, whether it was given to her without her knowledge or you know, whatever the case may be, um, there there was something going on in, in the head where she wasn't thinking right. She was not clearly able to focus on, you know, things that were going on. But I think it's because somebody was messing with her. I think they were messing with her. Huh. All right. So, all right. Let's get down to the nitty gritty because I'm already at 48 minutes. And I want to know... Um, the big question, was Maitrice murdered? Was Maitrice murdered? Was Maitrice Richardson murdered? Wow. Wow. The Ace of Cups. Yeah, um, definitely without a doubt to me, aces, without a doubt, 100% are yes. They are yes cards. So I do believe that this case is not 
I mean, I know it's legally closed, but it's definitely not closed. And there's definitely more to the story here than than we know. Um, this to me is yes. And honestly, when you're looking at this card, oh my God, I'm sorry, I'm not paying attention to the lighting here. When you look at this card, we've got different things. We've got one cup, right? But we've got three different things inside of this cup. And what that speaks to me is that there are multiple factors contributing to her her death ultimately. It just kind of seemed that all three or all of these factors, which to me could be possibly, um, you know, the whatever reason it was to go to this uh, restaurant to begin with. Uh, the incompetence of the police, and then ultimately whatever happened to her, it just kind of seemed that all of these three things, these big major factors, kind of came together, and it just was horrible for her. But I do believe she was definitely murdered. Um, wow. Interesting. Did the police department, did the lost what was it Lost Hills Police Department, did they have anything to do with Mitrice's murder? Did the Lost Hills Police Department have anything to do with Mitrice's murder? I don't even think I'm going to be able to get into the haunted house tarot. Did the police department have anything to do with the Mitrice Richardson's murder? Yeah, so I, I don't think that they had anything to do with it, but they sure did they sure did drop the ball i mean they literally this is this is they turned their back on this young woman they turned they they let her down they really did i think that they let her down and they were very incompetent and i think that laziness played a huge role in it um and they they literally let her walk away at night i feel like this is both representing the lost hills police department as well as my trees because they literally let this poor woman walk out of that and i do believe that she did leave um but they let her walk out of that police station with nothing with nothing no purse no identification no money no nothing and uh, you know aren't they there to protect and serve and it just seems like they put her up for failure. They set her up for failure. They did. They turned their back on her. They really did. They did not do justice with the Mitrice Richardson case at all. They literally just, and they have continued to walk away and turn their back on her by, you know, covering up their mistakes and n not looking into it appropriately. You know, so uh, I don't... Uh, let me just ask really quick, because I'm curious. Was there any officer that offered Mitrice a ride? Was there any officer that offered Mitrice a ride that night? Hmm. Wow. Wow. Interesting. Seven of Wands. Move it over here so you guys can see. Sorry, I keep them in the area, and I know you guys can't really see because of the lighting. So the Seven of Wands, that is like, you know, that is taking charge. That is overcoming obstacles. You know, you are just really, uh, you're determined. That's what it is. You're, you're determined. But what I'm also looking at is, so did... The police department offer did someone in the police department offer her a ride i kind of honestly and you guys may disagree so if you have a different explanation or interpretation of this card feel free because i'm all about different ideas i kind of feel like one or two things we know that when my Teresa's footsteps were found out at that ranch or farm or whatever place the guy called from we know that her footsteps were found and there there was enough there for them to determine that at one point she was walking and then the next point she was running so why was she running was she running away from someone did she come across somebody bad was it just being at the wrong place at the wrong time uh you know did she run into issues with this quote-unquote porn farm um you know what was she running from was she just running 
you know, I, I don't know. So we do have a person running here. So that's the one thing that I'm, I'm noticing. Um, and then, you know, we've got, but I'm specifically asking about that night. Did the officers, did, was there any one in particular officer or any officer for that matter that offered her a ride? And then we've got her running. So I, I honestly, I feel like this is definitely her. I feel like it's definitely her. I don't know. I'm going to have to pull another card. Was she offered a ride that night when she left the police station? Was she offered a ride that night? Hmm. I don't think so. I don't think she was. I really don't. I don't think she was offered a ride. This is her. This is her by herself walking. I do believe, and this is her running. I kind of feel like, for whatever reason, she was not offered a ride, and she chose to walk out of that police department. Why? Why? Why didn't she stay? Why, why didn't my tree stay in the police department that night? If she was offered to stay, why didn't she just stay? Why did she leave the police department? Judgment. What the hell? Judgment. Hmm. Why would she leave the police department? I definitely feel like she left on her own free will. I don't know if they offered her to stay. That's another thing. We don't even know. They say that they offered for her to stay. That's a good question, actually. Let me ask that. Did the police department actually offer for her to stay overnight in an open cell or in the lobby? Yes or no? Did the police department offer my trees to stay overnight yes or no did the police department offer for her to stay no no they didn't no they see that's the problem they didn't even offer for her to stay that that to me is a hard no the moon that's secrets that's lies so that's why it's becoming confusing because i do believe that she was not in fact offered the opportunity to stay in that jail cell that night now the police department is saying that they offered to keep the um cell door unlocked and that she could just stay in there or she could stay in the lobby no i don't believe that i think that that's a lie i don't think that they cared they just let her go they probably didn't want to deal with her they didn't want to you know whatever the case may be but they definitely i do not believe it, it, at all that they offered for her to stay in that police department that night and that is why she chose to walk away that is why not because she was offered to stay and she just up and decided that she was going to go out and risk it all on her own no she was never offered that she was never offered that opportunity i guarantee you she she was just told to leave you're free to go um you know whatever what have you uh and, and ultimately <laughs> you know I, I let me put this one aside here because i'm not sure about that one yet but she was not offered to stay so let me ask a few questions on the uh, all these other quote unquote farms we have going on with this case we've got the porn farm the marijuana farm I don't even know if I'm even allowed to say that name on YouTube. I don't know. But did these other things like this ranch or farm have any any kind of role whatsoever in this case? Wow. So the Nine of Swords. Um, hmm. Hmm. I will say that um, this is a no sleep card and I was kind of expecting this card to come up but I thought it was going to come up early on in the reading because I do know that she was not sleeping very well I think when they found her journals 
uh, which would make sense if this card came up because this is the 3 a.m. card. Okay, this is a person that's so overwhelmed with worries and problems and issues that they're up all hours of the night. And I do think that that was a factor. I think it is possible that she could have been, I, I think she was being played with mentally by by two females. I, I really do. I think that that's what the cards indicate. Uh, and I, ne I had never actually considered that. I did consider something going on with this Vanessa person, but I, I never thought of a third party before. So definitely going by the cards, I do feel like two other people, at least two other women, were playing with her mind, okay? And it was affecting her. Um, and it's possible that there was a break that day and that contributed to odd behavior um, because of the fact that she just wasn't getting enough sleep. This is saying that she was really not sleeping at all, like was not. Um, but as far as, you know, the question of what I asked, were any of these strange things that were in this area, like this porn farm, like this marijuana farm, did they have anything to do with it? Um, as a yes or a no, this would be a no. Okay, so because this is kind of have has that negative connotation and that's how I read yes or no. Um, if it's a positive connotation or a negative one and I base my yes or no off of that. And so um, as far as, you know, those different places possibly running into, you know, someone from that area. I, I don't necessarily think that that is the case here, but I do believe that without a doubt she was murdered because of that uh that ace that i pulled so let's see if we can find out let's just ask who murdered my trace who murdered my trace who is behind the murder of my trace who is behind the murder of my trace richardson so um you know, to me, that indicates that it's not one person. It's it's two people. So it's possibly two people. Did these two people know my trees? Yes or no? Did these two people know my trees? Yes or no? Okay. So as a yes, the King of Pentacles. Um, you know that that would in fact be a yes for me. Uh, so this is definitely. Uh, you know, I, I don't know if someone was in the area, if they were following her. Uh, I, I have no idea. Was somebody at the restaurant? Were they watching this whole thing go down? Was somebody sitting in a car in the parking lot? I don't know. Um, let me ask, were these two people at the restaurant at Joffrey's? Were these two people at the restaurant in Joffrey's? Were they watching what was happening? Yeah, they, they were. I... I I, just going by the cards, I mean, this is actually unbelievable. I did not expect this at all. This is crazy, actually, to be honest with you. Um, I, I do kind of feel like they were observing everything that was going on at the restaurant. Um, and, it, you know, so they, they knew that she was taken into custody. They knew where her car had been towed to, probably. Uh, and, you know, was there someone waiting for her? Was she running from people? Was there someone waiting for her when she walked out of that police department? Was there someone waiting for her? Yeah, I, I really do. This is a yes card to me again. Temperance. This is balance. Yes, yes, yes. It's a yes card. So I kind of do feel like, um, and, and it, this is awesome. I have labeled this as my concoction card because she's mixing it looks like water and wine and she's pouring it into a cauldron so I've kind of labeled this as my concoction card so it makes me it it does make me feel uh you know that it's the same people look at all the cups we have look at all the 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 drinks and and things like that we've got the seven of cups that we pulled earlier the ten of cups um, I, I think that somebody knew exactly where she was, where she had been taken, and when she had been released. And it's definitely two people. But I don't know, um, you know, it's hard to know if Maitreese had been in Dark Canyon 
for that entire 11 months because some things, uh, as far as her remains are concerned, didn't make sense per se. Uh, For example, uh, and I hate talking like that, so just a disclaimer here really quick, but, you know, parts of her remains were mummified. Uh, You know, some parts of her were dismembered. Uh, or her arm, I think I read her arm was in a very odd, uh, place, um, almost as if it had been, uh, like possibly she had been wrapped maybe. And so, you know, that is, I think leads a lot of people to wonder if perhaps she had been held for a time and then eventually placed in that location. Now it's hard to know that because we have a police department that never searched that area. So even when the police department did open their search and finally start looking for Maitrese, they just never went into Dark Canyon. So it's really hard to know if in fact she was in Dark Canyon at that time or if she had been put there later. So let's ask, was Maitrese in Dark Canyon that whole 11 months? Was Maitrese in Dark Canyon the entire 11 months? Was my trees in Dark Canyon the entire 11 months? Queen of Pentacles. Let me see if I can find the right spot. Okay, maybe that'll work. All right, so um, honestly, I I kind of feel like it, yeah, she, she possibly could have been. I, I don't... Um, this is definitely a yes card for me. And then I'm also looking at the imagery and I'm looking at this queen here, this woman who is laying down out in the wilderness and you've got the flowers around her and you've got, you know, it it just, she's kind of in an odd position. She just doesn't look very comfortable. She's in between laying down and sitting up and, you know, she's holding on to something. So there is definitely something going on with the arm, almost as if she's, in this case, it's a pentacle, but um, we do have an issue with one of my Teresa's arms. Oh, I, I mean, no disrespect by, by talking like that at all to the victims. I, I hate describing things like that, but I'm really trying to get specific questions answered tonight. So we've got her holding something. Was it possible that maybe her arm was, you know, oddly shaped because she was at one point holding on to something? But I do think it is a possibility that she had been placed there from the get-go. I'm shocked, though. That is not my original thinking in my own mind. I I would have guessed that she would have been placed there at a later date. Uh, But this card kind of indicates to me not. So um, let me see. Oh... I gonna follow with that I was gonna read that 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 was gonna what was I gonna go with that what about her clothes let me ask about her clothes where you know because she was actually found um partially dressed I think her belt had been removed I think her shoes were gone I think her there was it was something I, I can't remember exactly but it was odd the way her clothes had been. It was almost like, okay, you know, animals aren't going to do this. You know, is she really going to do this? Uh, It just didn't make sense. So what was going on with Maitreya's clothes? Hmm. So we've got a six of wands. We've got an eagle card coming up. But more importantly, we've got a group of people I do think that there's more than more than one person involved in this, and, and mainly two. I, I really do. But this here, you know, as far as her clothing is concerned, um, hmm, I don't know. Let me ask again. What's going on with my Teresa's clothing? What's going on with my Teresa's clothing? Where where is her clothes and what happened? Where's her clothes and what happened? So, oops. 
All right, so we've got, um, okay, so we've got the Six of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and the King of Cups. The King of Cups, who the hell is that now? Hmm. Who is the King of Cups? So was there someone else involved? Was there someone else involved besides the two people? Is there a man involved in this? Is there a man involved in this? I don't think so. I don't think that there's a man involved in this, but I am pulling up a man. And that is throwing me off. I'm pulling up a man and I don't believe a man was involved in this. But this is, this no, yeah, I don't believe. And I don't believe any more than two people. I think it was two people. Isn't it amazing that we pull the three of swords and we're literally, this whole reading has kind of primarily focused on three people. We've got Maitrice, we've got this other possible female that she was interested in, and another female, I believe, another female. And lo and behold, we pull the three of swords. And I, I kind of feel like, unfortunately, Maitrice is the one in the middle. I, I really do. And I, I feel like these two played her like a fiddle. They were messing with her. Um, and I think ultimately they have way more to do with this situation than, you know, we, we know. And I, I think that, unfortunately, because the police department botched this case from, like I said, beginning to end, and their incompetency didn't help, okay, and they didn't even look into, they didn't do anything. They didn't even check the crime scene area um, to even, you know, determine if that was the area of a crime scene. We don't even know if Maitrice was in that area in Dark Canyon a year prior because they never looked. So it's hard to really tell what they could have come up with had they done their job. Um, but I, I think that this whole thing evolves around a, a, a love triangle. I, I really do. And ultimately, you know, I'm, I saved this, uh, I did want to save this uh, judgment for last because my last question is going to be tonight, will there be justice in this case? Will this case ever be opened? Will this case ever be reopened? Will there be justice? Queen of Wands. I actually kind of feel like that is my trees, and, and I do believe that that is her coming through. Uh, we've got sunflowers. We've got the Queen of Wands is just a nice, wholesome, down-to-earth, beautiful, confident, strong, intelligent, uh, compassionate woman, and I do think that that represents my trees. And honestly, I'm going to end with these two cards because they're perfect to end together. I do think that there is going to be some justice in this case, but it's going to be in the form of karma. And I don't necessarily think it's going to be law enforcement. I think it's just too too far gone. Um, I, I do think that she was, you know, m murdered. And I think it has more to do with personal things going on in her life with other individuals than it does the police department. I think that it almost kind of helped the true people behind it kind of just fade off into the to the dark. I mean, all the focus was on the law enforcement, which is good because they didn't do their job. But um, on the flip side, the people who I think were responsible for it kind of just like I said, just kind of disappeared into the night. And, you know, they, they have unfortunately gotten away with it because of the incompetence of the police department. So, but I do want to end it now because I'm over an hour, but I do feel like this is definitely my trees coming through. I think she's in a, in a you know, a, a good place. I think she's definitely okay her spirit is okay she this to me this the sun the, look at all the goldness in this color in the in this card it's just a warm glowing comforting card to me and so it, it was nice of my trees i think to come through at the very end and yeah there there will be justice but it's not going to be in 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 an earthly 
form uh, you know it's going to be later on whoever is involved whoever did this knows what they did and they will eventually face justice eventually so um i think i'm going to leave it there guys i'm sorry i didn't get into the haunted house tarot um this was actually very interesting i stuck with the law low scrabio deck because of the way it was answering the questions i really this deck has kind of really went up to being one of my favorites. It's very accurate and very spot on, and the images are a little bit different than the traditional Rider Waite, and it just kind of, like I said in the beginning of the video, adds just like an extra layer of information to add to it. So, but anyway, that is enough for today. I do want to let you guys know that um, there there's some new information going on in the Chris Watts case, uh, and whoever whoever suggested me doing the Chris Watts case, uh, you know, thank you because now I have went into a deep rabbit hole with that case. Uh, <laughs> I'm just joking, uh, but it is crazy. Uh, I have been following it. And so, uh, you know, there's some breaking news in the case. Apparently Chris Watts was, you know, filing at 35C, which is not really an appeal, but it is kind of a means to, reopen the case and uh you know kind of look into you know evidence or, or whatever the case may be i'm not even really 100 percent sure what a 35c is but apparently he has dropped that and he came out yesterday there was a court hearing that he came out yesterday and he's no longer going to seek this 35c and so i do want to do another reading this week and in between a midweek video and ask the cards what is behind him pulling back on the 35c is this something that nk is controlling from the outside is he doing this to protect her he doesn't want this case to be investigated because he doesn't want anything to you know be found out about his mistress possibly and so i am going to be doing another reading um this week on the chris watts case so uh hopefully i'll get that up soon uh but until then you guys have a wonderful weekend and I will see you next week, or actually I'll see you in a couple of days, so thank you so much.